good afternoon and a warm welcome to all of you on the youtube channel of byju's exam prep my dear friends i'm gorav gupta and today we are going to discuss some logical reasoning questions that will help you for your revision of cmat 2024 examination i hope i am clearly visible and audible to all of you so friends good afternoon i hope i'm clearly visible and audible all right so friends in this session we are going to discuss some of the questions of logical reasoning which you can expect to appear in your examination uh, if not the exact questions but the similar concepts will be used now while we are conducting these sessions you all know uh sir will see might happen an issue uh up till now yes we can say that it is going to happen since we don't have any formal communication okay so yes a cmat will happen may happen but uh, like uh, until and unless we have any concrete information about uh, the date of any examination or will it be conducted or not until we have a concrete information we cannot stop conducting we cannot stop uh, uh preparing for those the sessions all right so let's continue studying cmat cet all these sessions like i have already told in my previous sessions that whatever sessions we are conducting for cmat or cet all these things will help you in both the examinations all right so you can uh, just keep studying keep revising all these things so i was telling you that uh, i was telling you the relevance of these sessions now we are conducting these sessions keeping in our mind that uh, the student requires a revision continuous revision without revision they will be out of touch and uh, they might forget some of the concepts all right so that is why we are conducting all these sessions so that you will always be in touch with your uh, uh, reading comprehension verbal ability questions logical reasoning data interpretation as well as quantitative ability now all these areas requires regular practice regular revision also uh, while solving these questions <coughs> while solving these questions uh, uh, what you will observe that there might be two or three concepts that you will learn in every session okay if not new concepts you might understand you might get to know some shorter ways of solving the same questions for which you were earlier using uh, like uh, uh, some lengthy approaches okay all right so friends let's start solving these questions so uh, just keep in mind these sessions are meant so that all the students will have a proper revision okay so at this point in time the only problem that we face is the lack of questions for our practice so treat all these questions that we are conducting in these sessions as practice material and uh, try to solve all these questions uh when you are watching these session okay so anyone who is watching the session in the live format they must solve it right now if you are looking at the recording of the session later on which is available on youtube then you must solve all those questions during uh, like uh, when when whenever you are watching these sessions all right so very very good afternoon to all of you snehal vishakha and the other students who have already joined in so let's quickly begin start solving the questions of logical reasoning okay so the first question will appear on your screen just take out one sheet of uh, paper one rough sheet and a pen one rough sheet will be more than enough to answer to solve all these questions that we'll be discussing in this session okay so the first question on your screen now all the very best while solving these questions so first question quickly give me an answer who is a's wife when six male friends are married to six women not necessarily in the same order with the following facts which are known now quickly try to find out the answer post it in the chat box as soon as possible without making any error
you will have to solve this question making an assumption that one male one person is married to only one person one male is married to one female okay all right any answer for this question all right so please give me an answer you're saying done friends blogs and funny videos you're saying you are done so what is the answer among the four options who is a's wife okay purushottam has given an answer so give me an answer in the form of option a b c or d all of you so let's solve uh, this one now i can see that there are only two uh, parameters here male friends and the female friends there are only two parameters now we'll have to match one male friend with one female friend we'll have to make the couples here okay so the method that you can use is the trick tick cross method okay tick cross method right so where you will write the names of all the male friends as well as the female friends generally if we have more than two parameters we don't use this method okay but you have two parameters you can use this method so i'll write all these names a b c d e f vertically all right and r s u v t w r s u v t and w okay now i'll put crosses uh, against those couples which uh, are not married okay and then put tick across those uh, people who are married together now r and s are are a's sister so r and s are a's sister so uh, r and s cannot be the wife of a all right neither r nor t are wives of c neither r nor t are the wives of c done so first statement second statement done third statement w is wife of e so e's wife is w okay so w cannot be the wife of any other person okay wait i'll make i'll draw the horizontal line so that you will see a clear bifurcation between them all right as well as the verticals just to avoid confusion okay all right <clears throat> now w is the wife of e so w cannot be the wife of any other person also e cannot be the husband of any other female so if you will get one tick then along the horizontal and the vertical all uh, like all the remaining cells will have a cross okay so w is the wife of e and v is the wife of b so b's wife is v so i'll put a tick here and crosses along the vertical as well as the same horizontal okay done now next statement is d is not married to b is not married to r s or t okay so d is not married to these three people right now what all places i have a tick i have a tick here i have a tick here two ticks now for d along this horizontal i have five crosses so i can put a tick only at one place okay so other places will get a cross done clear hai okay now likewise for r along the vertical i can put a tick here only so at every other place i'll put a cross then for t along the vertical i have a tick here available okay fine i want to find out who is a's wife a's wife is t and i have got the answer so the correct answer is option c t is a's wife okay now it's totally up to you you make a table like this or you just name write the name of the males and uh, in front of them you can keep crossing the name of the females which cannot be its wife all right so there are two different ways in which you can uh, do this question 
Now, when will CMAC registration start, Dishant? This is uh, like uh, uh, like uh, I'm, I'm also looking for an answer of the same thing. So every year uh, we see that there is no fixed schedule that these examinations uh, follow. Okay, so we cannot say when uh, will uh, this examination happen, okay, or what will be the registration date beginning for uh, CMAT. All right, so let's wait and watch. Meanwhile, the only thing that, that we can do is we can practice for uh, this examination, okay. All right, so the correct answer is option C. Let's move on to question number two. In the following number series, only one number is wrong. Find out the wrong number. So basically, odd one out ka question hai. Quickly identify which of the terms, which of these numbers is a wrong number. So Vishakha, uh, like I have explained a method, you can use this parameter. But Vishakha, my suggestion is uh, use this method only when you have two parameters, husband and wife, like in this case. If you have three parameters, let's say husband and the wife and the city where they are living or maybe more number of parameters, then making this table it's, uh, will, will become a very tedious and will become a very lengthy process. Okay. So restrict yourself using this method when you have only two constraint, two parameters, more than two parameters, make a normal table. Yes, anyone, what is the wrong number in this series? Okay, those who are writing their answers, they may also write the reason why they think that uh, the particular number is wrong. Okay, so go ahead and uh, write the reason as well, if, if you can. <coughs> so, Sonu, uh, Purushottam, Swapnali, friends. All of you have given the same answer. Please support your answer with a reason. Okay. Now, meanwhile, I'll start solving this. I'll quickly write the difference between these terms. This is the first thing that we generally do. Now, from 488 to 519, uh, 12 plus 19, there is a difference of 31. Simple. There is a difference of 31. Then, in the next case, uh, from 519 to 580, uh, 61, there is a difference of 61, perfect. Then in the next case, there is a difference of uh, uh, 20 and 74, that is 94, okay. Up till now, I cannot see any series, 31, 61, 91 aata to achha reta, but 94 aagya, kuch kar bada hoi. Then for the next case, 674 say 798. So there is a difference of 124. Again, a very strange thing. 124 ka difference aagya. Now next, the difference is 155. 153 plus 2, 155. The difference is 155. Okay. Now look at the first number, 31. Look at this number and this number. Now 31 into 4 is 124. 31 into 5 is 155, okay? So, instead of 61, instead of this difference of 61, agar yaha pe 62 hota, I'll increase this difference by 1 and reduce this difference by 1, okay? So, instead of 31, instead of 61, if it would have been 62 and instead of 94, if this would have been 93, then I can see a series. 31 into 1, 31 into 2, 31 into 3, into 4, into 5. Okay, right? So I can say that this particular term is wrong, right? Instead of a difference of 61, it should have been 62. Okay, so the number should have been 
581 instead of 580 and then everything will become correct okay all right so i will remove 581 instead of that i'll put 5 sorry i'll remove 580 and i'll put 581 and i can see that the differences are 31 62 93 124 and 155 all right okay so 581 is the correct answer which will replace 580 so the correct answer should be option b all right now let's move on and look at the next question question number three <coughs> question number three on blood relations Now, P is the brother of Q, S is the father of P, R is the brother of S, and T is the mother of R. Then how is P related to T? Quickly draw a family tree. It's a very simple family tree that uh, you can draw and give me an answer. So, yes, you will also see easy, very easy questions in your examination. All right, great. Okay, so. Pushottam, I'll definitely go back to the previous question. You are you're saying that it can also be 674. Pattern will follow. 31, 61, 91, 121. So on for question number two. Pushottam, I definitely go back. Okay? Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll clarify your doubt. I think some of you have uh, this kind of doubt in the previous question. So I'll go back. But let's solve this question quickly. Asansa question. Hai. Now P is the brother of Q. P is the brother of Q. S is the father of P. S is father of P. R is brother of S. R is brother of S. T is the mother of R. T is the mother of R. Khatam question, what is easier. How is P related to T? Now, T is the grandmother of P. And vice versa, P, since P is male, P will be the grandson of T. So the correct answer will be option A. Right? Option A, simple. All of you have given the same answer. We can move on. Okay. And first of all, let's look at the previous question. Okay. <clears throat> now I'll erase some part. And Pushwatam, if you're saying that, if I will make the differences as 31, 61, 91, 121. So for that, I'll have to change this difference. It should become 91. I have to change this difference. It should become 121. I also have to change this difference, which should become 151. Now, because of which, this number will change, this number will change, and this number will also change. So I'll have to make changes in three numbers. Okay, right? So three terms cannot be incorrect. Three numbers incorrect nahi ho sakte. Right? So this is the reason why I have selected 580 as the answer. Because by changing only one number, I will have a pattern in the differences which will become 31, 62, 93, 124 and 155. Okay? So yes, Purushottam. So if I replace... <coughs> So, Purushottam, I do whatever you are saying. So, if I replace 674 with 671, okay? So, instead of this number, if I'll put 670, I'm sorry. I hope you, you are getting it. So, if I'll make it 671, yes, this difference will become 91, definitely. But will this difference become 121? No, it will not. Okay, so this is the reason. No problem. It's okay, Purushottam. It's good that you have mentioned your doubt. Lovely. Chaliye, aage chalte hai. So, <coughs> question number four, the next question on your screen, which of the following numbers can replace the question mark? This is the question of number analogies. 
and these are the most dicey question most confusing question that i i i think they are okay now here plenty of logics can uh, can be fitted so you just have to catch one logic which is used by the examiner agar aapka logic match ho gaya examiner se to answer aapka correct ho jayega फ्रेंड्स ब्लॉग प्लीज एक बार चेंज करो एंड देन चेक इफ इट इज फॉलोइंग और नॉट नो यू विल नॉट गेट द डिफरेंसेस पैटर्न 30 31 32 नो इट विल बी 30 61 आई थिंक यू आर सेइंग दैट डिफरेंस ऑफ डिफरेंसेस बट अगर मुझे फर्स्ट लेवल पे ही डिफरेंस दिख रहा है तो व्हाई टू गो टू द सेकंड लेवल ऑल राइट सो पीपल आर सेइंग आंसर शुड बी 41 I think you are using the logic five into the next number that is six minus one. Okay, so six into the next number minus one. I think this logic is perfect. So the correct answer forty one. Okay, right. So Sonu, I have used this logic. You have used another logic. I think we are getting the same answer using that. Okay, so the correct answer here is forty one. no other uh, option uh, is getting uh, uh, like is is able to get me any particular logic so this is what i have done and we are getting the same answer 5 square plus 4 6 square plus 5 okay so 6 square plus 5 36 plus 5 is also 41 the same logic we all have applied so the correct answer is 41 let's move on to the next question Now, if in a code language part is coded as two hundred and twenty, go is coded as forty four, then how will you code R A N C H ranch? A majority of the questions like this are like have something to do with the number equivalent of the alphabets which are used in the words. So number equivalents, yad hone chahiye. I I uh, tell my students in each and every session wherever I, I I get this type of question. So A to Z, you must remember the number equivalents. It should not take you more than two seconds. to identify to find out the number equivalent of uh, any of the alphabets all right so three students giving the same answer let's see if you guys are correct okay so i i think you have got the logic so i'll quickly write the number equivalents 16 1 18 and 20 okay i'll add these numbers 16 and 18 34 plus 1 35 and 20 55 now 55 but the code is 220 now at this stage you should be able to identify itna difficult nahi hai ye good swapnali very good sonu you have also given the logic i'll check for go now g is 7 and o is 15 okay now the sum is 22 but the code is 44 so basically what they are doing is the sum of the number equivalents multiplied by the number of alphabets used so 55 into 4 is 220 there are four alphabets used in the word part then in go there are two alphabets which are used so 22 into 2 is 44 okay so the sum of the number equivalents multiplied by the number of alphabets so for ranch 
प्लस वन इज नाइनटीन प्लस फोर्टीन इज थर्टी थ्री प्लस थ्री इज थर्टी सिक्स प्लस एट इज फोर्टी फोर सो फोर्टी फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई दी नंबर ऑफ एल्फाबेट विच इज फाइव सो फोर्टी फोर इंटू फाइव इज टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एंड दैट इज हाउ विल गेट आर आंसर सो टू ट्वेंटी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ओके ऑल ऑफ यू हैव गिवन द सेम आंसर नाइस गुड टू सी दैट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स Yes, that is absolutely correct. So, next question: P, Q, R, S, T, and U are six members of a family. R is not the mother of Q, but Q is the son of R. <laughs> Such a funny statement this is. Okay, but important statement. You will able you will be able to get the relation between Q and R. Also, P and R are married couple. T is the brother of R. U is the brother of Q. S is the daughter of T. Okay, so now you have to find out T is S's dad. Again, quickly draw family tree. so if r is not the mother of q but q is the son of r so i can say that r will be the father of q okay so i can start from here that r is uh, the father r is male r is the father of q now since q is the son of r so q will also be male okay p and r are married so p will be the wife of r t is the brother of r so t will be male u is the brother of q so u is brother again male of q s is the, the daughter of p <coughs> s is the daughter of p so if s is the daughter of p then s will be the sister of q and u ओके तो यहां पे इसको लाइन में लगा देते हैं एस विल बी द सिस्टर ऑफ दीज टू पीपल सो टी इज एस इज वट नाउ एस के फादर एस इज फादर इज आर एंड आर ब्रदर इज टी सो फादर ब्रदर इज टी ओके सो फादर ब्रदर इज वट फादर ब्रदर इज अंकल सो द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन ए ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट कम्स नेक्स्ट you have 10 seconds to answer this question not more than 10 seconds will be given to you quickly so what comes next next in this series analogies quickly so look at the first two figure identify the relation and then apply it in the next two figures not more than 10 seconds you will have to type your answer nice good सो so, क्या किया यहां पे सो फिगर को हाफ कर दिया दे हैव रिटेन द लेफ्ट हाफ ऑफ द फिगर ओके एंड देन दे हैव शेडेड दिस पार्ट ओके सो इफ यू लुक एट द सर्कल इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट आई विल रिटेन द लेफ्ट पार्ट एंड लेफ्ट पार्ट विल बी शेडेड सो द करेक्ट आंसर हैज टू बी ऑप्शन ए हर्षित से वन सेकेंड इज एनफ ये हर्षित यू आर एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट मैंने बहुत ज्यादा टाइम दे दिया okay so the correct answer is option a no doubt at all right now next question on your screen slightly difficult question unconventional question of calendars okay but let's have a look at this one <clears throat> now sundays are eliminated from a week so now onwards we will not get a holiday so sundays are no more there <laughs> okay that is a week only has six days starting from monday to saturday then what will be the day on 19th of december of a leap year if first of february of the same year is monday
ओके नाइस सो शुभांगी एंड सोनू ओह ऑल ऑफ यू स्टेइंग बी ट्यूसडे लेट्स सी व्हाट विल बी द आंसर ओके सो आई विल बी अ लिटिल स्लो वाइल डिस्कसिंग दिस we are giving we are given first of february of a leap year this is a monday understand that this is given as a leap year okay first of february is given as monday and we'll have to find out the day on 19th of december what will be the day on this date but this question is different from uh, a, a normal question fine right? there is a there is an abnormality here they have removed one day from a week so now in a week we don't have seven days but we have six days okay so the whole process of calculations in in uh, the number of odd days will change the whole thing will change so earlier when we were when we used to divide uh, the number of days by 7 to calculate the number of odd days why we used to divide it by 7 because one week has 7 days but now one day is eliminated and a week now has 6 days so in the calculations of of uh, finding the number of odd days we will divide by 6 instead of 7 and find out the remainder this is one big change that will happen okay now a lot of you have given answer as option b and there is only one student who has given a different answer that's it okay so two options b and d let's identify which is the correct answer now to calculate the number of odd days we will count how many days are added to 1st of february to obtain 19th of december okay so 1st february we are starting total number of days in february is 29 because this is the leap year so 1st february is already gone so how many days are left 28 days so 28 days of february then march april may june july august september october november and in december only 19 days will be considered okay right so i have written number of days in every month now you have two ways either you will add all these numbers and then divide it by 6 and find out the remainder or what i generally do is i divide these numbers separately by 6 or 7 if it is that question uh, normal question in this i should be dividing it by 6 so 28 divided by 6 and i'll keep on writing the remainders for each of them So twenty-eight when divided by six, remainder is four. Then one, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, and one. Okay. So these are the remainders when divided by six. Okay. Now four plus one plus one becomes a six. I can cancel it out. I can eliminate. I can ignore this. Next, I have one plus one plus one plus one. That is four. So there are four odd days, right? So four odd days are there. So Monday plus four will be your answer. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Monday plus four is a Friday. So the correct answer is Friday, which earlier was given by only one student, and then other students have also written the same answer. So Sonu. I saw that you are the first person to give a different answer. Friday, yes, you are absolutely correct. The others, I don't know what mistake you have done, but I hope that you have understood what mistake you have done. Okay, all right. So that's it. The answer is a Friday. Next question, question number nine. Select the option that can replace the question mark in the following series. Select the option that can replace the question mark in the following series.
All right, nice. That was quick. Okay. Now, in this case, there are three parts of a particular term, right? So, whenever this is the case, what you must do is you must look at the options. So, in the options, I can see that uh, the first part of each of the options is same. So, I will not look at the first part. I will not find out the answer for the first part. Okay, I look at the second part or the third part, right? So, The, the second part is numbers 34, 46, 58, and 70. 34, 46, 58, and 70. 12 has been added in these numbers. So 34 plus 12 is 46, plus 12 is 58, plus 12 is 70. So 70 plus 12 is 82. So 82 should be the middle part. So I can eliminate two options. Then the last part is an alphabet. So E is 5. H is 8, K is 11, N is 14. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 3 is 14, 14 plus 3 is 17. Right? Now 17 is Q, so the correct answer will be option A. Okay? That's it. This is the answer. So option A is the correct answer. Let's look at the next question, question number 10. Among the five numbers, W, Y, C, D, M, W is greater than C but less than M, whereas Y is greater than D but not less than M, which of the following can be the greatest of the five numbers? All right, nice. Same answers, most of you. Now it is important to interpret this statement properly. That's it. This is the backbone of this state, uh, discussion. Now W is greater than C. W is greater than C. But less than M. But W is less than M. Okay, I have to identify the greatest of these five. So W and C cannot be the greatest. Whereas Y is greater than D. Y is greater than D. Since Y is greater than D, so D also cannot be the answer. Now, just on the basis of this portion, no confusion, but three options are eliminated. It cannot be D, it cannot be W, it cannot be C. Right? I'm left with only one option. Safely, I can mark this answer. But still, let's see why D is the correct answer. Okay? Now, why is greater than D, but why is not less than M? Now, why is not less than M? So, why can be greater than or equal to M? So, why can be greater than or equal to M? Right? Why is not less than M? So less nahi hai, equal ho sakta hai, greater bhi ho sakta hai. Okay, right? So, <coughs> unfortunately in the options, Y or M individually bhi hone chahiye. Okay, so my bad, I could not uh, make uh, proper options. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll next time ensure that I will introduce, I will uh, have, like I will put more confusion for the students so that they are ready for the examination. 
ठीक है ना अमंग दीज आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट द ग्रेटेस्ट ना इफ y इज ग्रेटर देन m देन डेफिनेटली y विल बी ग्रेटर बट इफ y एंड m बोथ आर इक्वल देन बोथ ऑफ देम कैन बी द ग्रेटेस्ट अमंग द फाइव ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर शुड बी ऑप्शन d ओके ऑप्शन d इज द करेक्ट आंसर y y और m कैन बी द ग्रेटेस्ट अमंग द फाइव ऑफ दीस सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन d ऑल राइट So friends, that's all from my side for today's session. I hope you would have liked solving these questions. Uh, I'll uh, leave some information, some very important information for all of you. So unlock your free trial to access uh, Baidu's exam prep portal for three days by visiting our application. Just feed in your mobile number and start the free trial. Also, also MNCT specialized course is still uh, there, so you can join this program. the most important features that will help you now will be 12 mock papers which are based on actual paper pattern and more than 3500 practice questions across different level of difficulties also you can check the link in the description for using cat college predictor which is based on your profile mhct all india open mock for mba 2024 is still live and will be live up till 25th of february register for this mock examination and make sure that you attempt this okay sir what if in the option given y and m so answer is y no so sonu uh, if there is one option which is m there is one option which is y there will be an option which will be m or y okay so confusing options honge but answer will be unique okay so there will be an option which will be saying m or y m or y ye wala option to hoga hi hoga okay all right also friends last lab to mhct which we had to start from 22nd of february will soon start it so uh, we have postponed the series uh, slightly but definitely wait and watch uh, this uh, last lab to mhct which will be a series of 10 power pack live sessions get up to 20, uh, 90% scholarship on cat preparation programs the next scholarship test is on 25th of february at uh, 11 am all right click on uh, talk to our counselor on the baiju's exam prep application to talk to our counselor get social with us on all these uh, social media platforms have a nice time bye bye thank you very much for being a part of this